Let's add sorting and filtering features to our categories data table. Let's var dump the params here so that we can see what sort of data we can use for sorting. Let's open the browser, let's open the dev tools, uh, let's switch a page here, let's inspect the response and we get the response in here, let's scroll down. So we have the order option here that contains the column that we are sorting by as well as the direction of the sort. We can actually get the proper column name using this uh, column index because this is an index uh, that references to the keys of the columns right here so that zero refers to this zero so basically right now we are sorting by the name of the category if we scroll up here and sort by updated that for example and inspect this let's scroll down we see that the order column is now set to two and the index two is updated at column so we can basically access this updated at uh, name or the column name by using that index. So let's go back to the code here. Let's create a variable here called order by, and this is going to be params, columns, and we'll access the order column here, which is an array. So we'll get the first one and then column key. Uh, this should be params. And finally, we'll get the data because this is actually what contains the column name. So again, we're accessing the columns on the params and then we're accessing the specific index of the column and that index we get from the order uh, option. We're getting the first element in that array and then the column key. This equals to the index on which column we are sorting by. And then we're getting the data element of it, which is the name of the column. Then we can get the order direction and we can just copy this section right here. And instead of column, this will be DIR. Now let's var dump the order by and order direction. Let's open the browser. Let's sort by created at. Let's inspect the response. And sure enough, we get created at ascending. Let's sort by updated at and let's do descending order. Let's inspect this and sure enough, we get updated at descending. The previous one was updated at ascending. So now that we have the order by and order direction columns, let's pass them to this uh, get paginated categories method. So let's put these on its own lines. Let's pass order by and order direction. Let's go in here. We'll accept string order by and string order direction now we can do the sorting on the query by simply doing order by method here and we'll concatenate it with the table alias which is c so c dot and then the column which is order by and then order direction now let's open the browser let's refresh the page we see that by default it's sorted by the name let's sort it by name descending order that works let's sort by created at that works sorted by descending that also works let's sort by updated at that works let's do updated at descending and that also works now there is one problem here even though this might look harmless at first glance it's actually dangerous and you should not do this this way because it can be vulnerable to SQL injection let me show you what I mean let's go back to the browser let's open the dev tools let's refresh the page let's copy this URL right here so we'll copy this entire request URL and we'll paste it in a new tab here let's enter and we get the JSON response which is expected now let's inspect this uh, query string right here and let's change around the order by column or order direction let's uh, mess with the order direction here which is set to ascending by default if we change this to descending of course the data changes to descending order now let's modify this order direction and pass some malicious script for now i'm just going to add a simple quote and then do ascending and hit enter and as you see that our application breaks and we get the slim application error notice that we're getting a query exception and it's a syntax exception which means that the quote was injected into the query 
This means that the user could form a malicious input containing a well-composed SQL injection. Now, since we can't use parameters or placeholders in the order by clause here, we need to use something else called an allow list, where we basically validate and check the order by column to ensure that it's one of the accepted values and filter out the rest. So to fix this, we'll do order by equals in array and let's do order by and we'll have some allow list here and this will be name created at and updated at and these are the only three columns we want our categories to be sorted by and if the given order by is one of these uh, values then we'll accept the order by otherwise we'll set it to a default updated at now in this case instead of setting it to default you can throw an exception that is up to you how you want to handle this case and we'll do the same thing with the order direction the order direction can either be ascending or descending so we'll do something like string to lower order direction and i'm using string to lower here just in case to make sure that we have all lowercase order direction and then we'll compare this to ascending and if it's an ascending order then we'll just use ascending otherwise we'll do descending by default and now this is much safer and if we go back to the browser and refresh the page which was causing an application error before this no longer causes any errors let's go back to the table here let's close this out refresh the page and sorting works as expected all right next let's add the filtering option to our table so let's accept another uh, argument here called search so we'll do a string search let's uh, format the code here then let's check if the given search is not empty so if not empty search because search might be empty uh, given that user may not be searching for anything so it can be set to an empty string so if the given search is not empty then we can do query where c dot name like name and we'll set the name parameter to wildcard search now let's go to controller and let's pass the search term here the search term that we get from the params is within search value and this should be good enough let's open the browser let's try to search for internet and sure enough that works now there is one problem here and i'll show you what so let's remove the search here and let's edit one of the categories uh, let's say that tuition and let's add percent sign at the end so let's save that and now let's search for categories that contain the percent sign now if i enter the percent sign here you can see that nothing really happens however on the background we see that the query is actually being made and this is being passed as the search term but it's returning all the results so it's not actually doing any search on this percent sign as you can see i can keep on entering more percent signs and it's actually not doing anything that's because percent sign as well as an underscore are special wildcard characters that need to be escaped if we want to use them as literals and search for them properly as you can see if i type in the underscore here again nothing happens on the screen even though the query is executed it's actually returning all the categories back to us instead of doing search by the percent and underscore because these again are wildcard characters that have special meaning in the queries now to escape them we can either use string replace and then replace the percent sign and underscores with backslashes so basically we would do something like search equals string replace percent and underscore backslash percent backslash underscore and this would work so if we go back here and now search we see that now it doesn't find anything because nothing contains uh, more than one percent sign if i remove this we see that now this works however instead of doing string replace there is an easier way let's get rid of this and that is called add c slashes function this basically adds backslashes to the given characters so we'll pass the search here and the characters we'll pass are the percent and underscore let's go back to the browser let's try to search again as you can see that still works and this still works as well great so we have pagination sorting and filtering working properly let's now do a little bit of cleanup first i sort of want to refactor uh, this part 
right here. I don't like accessing these array keys and passing them uh, as arguments to the category service. It would be nice if we had something like a generic data table filters DTO class or something like that. So instead of all this, what I want to do is that I'm going to comment these out and I'm going to do params equals this request service get data table query parameters and this will take the request as an argument and then uh, this method will return a dto object and then we'll simply pass that dto object into this method so we'll get rid of this from here and we'll pass params this way i think this looks a lot more cleaner let's also get rid of this and this looks good we do have the request service class so we can inject that in the constructor so let's go up here we'll do private read only request service request service and then we need to create this method let's add that method and let's paste in the code that i removed from the controller let's uncomment this and let's return some sort of new data table query params dto and in here we'll pass uh, the arguments that we were passing to the category service method so let's paste this in right here and this looks good and the other thing that we'll need is this draw parameter so let's pass this in in here as well as one parameter and let's create this dto let's add this as a return type let's create this class we'll do it within app data objects let's make them public read only properties let's format the code let's change the names here so this is going to be start length order by order direction this will be search value or search term and this will be draw now these are actually strings so let's do string instead and this looks good now the only other thing that we need to do is that we need to modify this method right here we can actually change this from here and do params draw and let's do the same thing within this method so now instead of accepting all of this we'll accept data table query params let's format the code and this will be params start and we'll do the same thing here as well params length order by and order direction same thing here same goes to the search we'll do params search term and i think we're good to go actually before we test let's go back to the controller see if we can improve something else i think i want to refactor this part as well i don't like uh, this array right here instead maybe we can have some kind of method on the response formatter class so instead of response formatter as json maybe we can do something like as data table now this will accept the same response and then maybe we'll copy this and instead we'll just pass the data this way we'll pass the draw this way and we'll pass the total categories this way i think we can get rid of this let's create this method and let's return this as json response and we'll pass this array now instead of having array map here we'll assume that the data already comes properly formatted we are accepting the draw and we're also accepting the total so we'll replace this with total let's add the type hint here and i think we're good to go now i know that we could have made this even better and uh, we could have uh, extracted the transformer in its own class or something like that or maybe create a complete like a data table dedicated class that handles all the request and response uh, stuff but for now i don't want to overcomplicate it i think what we have is pretty good for now so let's format the code and let's open the browser to confirm everything still works uh the page loads that's good let's test the pagination that still works let's test this that works test the sorting and that works as well all right so i think we're done as far as the categories entity goes i think we've added everything that we wanted to add to the categories page we have ability to create new category here we have ability to delete and edit categories we have a data table where we can filter categories we have pagination and so on we basically have the full crud operations working next step is to do the same 
but for the transactions page. Now, instead of me doing that, I want you to do that on your own as an exercise. It should be pretty simple because uh, for the most part, it will be duplicating code from the categories and adjusting it to work for transactions. The main difference will be that the transactions will have a little bit more input fields than the categories because for categories, we only have the category name. But the transaction also has description, category, amount, and the date, as well as any receipts that you might want to upload. Now, don't worry about the actual file upload and the receipt part. We can do that together, but try to implement the same CRUD operations for the transactions page. So basically, you will be implementing this transactions page the same way we implemented the categories page. So basically, ability to create, view, search, sort, edit, update, and delete transactions. It will really help you put things that you've learned into practice. If you need help or have any questions, please feel free to post them down in the comments. Note that I'll still make a video showing you an already implemented solution and go over it, so don't worry if you get stuck you will be able to see uh, my solution. It's just that we are not gonna be spending the time to implement the same CRUD operations over the course of multiple videos because I don't think that's needed. I think we covered whatever was needed to be covered within this categories page. The rest is just applying the same concept to the other pages, like transactions page. So I'm going to do that behind the scenes and then go over it in the new video. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Good luck. Please give it a try and I'll see you in the next one.